So you've decided that you want a wind turbine, but do you go for a horizontal style or do you go for a vertical style? Which one gives you the most power? Which one's the most useful? Which one can you install near your house? Let's have a look and see and find out. I have here two different turbines. I've got a vertical wind turbine with its vertical axis and I've got a horizontal wind turbine with its horizontal axis. Two very different styles of turbine and they work largely in the same way but there are fundamental differences and those can affect how they're going to be used. The first obvious difference is totally different designs. This one very big and these are the ones we often see in the onshore and offshore wind farms. We see the vertical wind sort of turbines, uh, not necessarily this particular shape but normally sort of a more of a helical shape. Uh, can be used in wind uh, farms but largely these teen little ones seem to go for smaller sites. Now why? Well if we turn on the wind to have a look and see what happens we're going to put a low wind speed up. Immediately we are getting both of them working quite well. But there is a fundamental difference. I've got both of these connected to LED lights. Let's try seeing if what happens if I swap these over. This is a low power LED and this is a higher power LED. The low power here No, it just won't work. It's just too much for it. And the high power, well, we managed something there to start with, but it's just not enough power. So we have to set these systems up for this one, for low power, and the bigger one for higher power. To give you a comparison, let's take a small fan and this is going to be driven by the wind there. Now if I unplug this and turn this about 90 degrees it's not having the wind pick it up and it's not really being powered. I can sort of give it a little push, a little nudge to get it going. It's not. Let's compare the bigger one. Producing more electricity, this one. And it is producing enough power to get this fan going at a reasonable speed. Now, what can I do to make these fans more effective, these turbines more effective? Well, something I can do is we can change the angle on the blades. I can turn them so they're fairly flat and that really isn't very effective at all it's certainly not working I'm going to put on just one
So it is working. Let's see what will happen if we put some different blades on. I've got a slightly different style of blade here. working under some wind which is not helping matters. So some different wind veins on here and we are getting different amount of power so by changing the blades by changing their shape by changing their angle we can make some difference to how this works The horizontal version then, quite effective, works in large situations. This vertical one is not needing the change in so much many ways. I can change the number of veins on this and in a previous video you can see that we can put different numbers of blades on. It makes not a lot of difference to how this one works but this is generally more compact and whereas a big one like that shove that on my roof may cause quite a few problems these are much smaller but they tend to produce less electricity maybe I could put several of these up on my roof to be equivalent to perhaps one of these larger systems. So there you've got the horizontal vertical wind turbines and uh, an idea about how they work and perhaps which is the most effective for you.